Happy 30th birthday, Carter, for me and some of us. Uh, hope you have a good birthday. Thomas thinks so too. Happy birthday, old fart. I love you so, so much. Aww. Some of my favorite memories is when I was drawing and you said to add some hair and you named it Senior Steve, but I also remember when we all went up in the bucket truck and when we were going down, you kept moving it to scare us. Uh, I love how you're always so positive. I, love, I hope you have an amazing year being 30. Remember this? It's a happy birthday card to me. May all your wishes come true. Happy birthday. Mom, you come to all my baseball games when I was a little leaguer. Just wait till I'm in the big stadiums playing on the D-backs. I won't be so embarrassed when I get a base hit and you scream at the top of your lungs. Because by then, you'll be too old to scream. But I still want you at all my baseball games because I know you will cheer me on. Point is, I love you so much. You've always been there for me and I'll always be there for you. And don't worry about when you get too old. You can live anywhere in the world, but I will not. I bet you'll want to live with me. No retirement home for mom or papa. I love you so much. Happy birthday. Love, little ball player, Carter. 30 years. There's a lot of memories packed into 30 years. A sweet, loving little boy uh, growing into a, an amazing, amazing, wonderful man. Um, that little boy used to leave me notes by my bed. He used to make me toast and bring it to me when I had a migraine and I was in bed. He created sweet cards for me, like that one. Um, I loved watching him play baseball. I loved watching him wrestle. I loved watching him do anything because he always did everything with um, dedication and um, passion. Um, a wet teenager holds your hand on the way to the bus stop so that you can pray together. He always makes me laugh as a child and as a grown man. Um, road trips, he would sing at the top of his lungs, even if he didn't know the words. <laughs> so he'd make a joy pop, and I would laugh till I cried, or maybe beat my pants. Um, tremendously proud moment for me was when uh, he walked into the Northwest Lineman College. He worked really, really hard, not just for himself, but helping others along the way as well. I remember another good memory is uh, baking a cake, him and Brianna, <laughs> baking a cake and uh, bringing it to me at Van Heusen, even though it kind of slid on the plate going down <laughs> River Road. Those are the kind of wonderful memories I, I'll treasure always. Um, you are a wonderful son. A great husband, an amazing dad, a dedicated, hardworking, intelligent, funny, and most of all, a believer in Jesus Christ. That's super duper important to me. So I could go on and on and on. I'm sure you don't want me to, but um, a lot of wonderful, wonderful memories. And uh, I love you with all of my heart. I wish you a, not just a, a good birthday, but wonderful blessings in your life each and every day, all of you. I love you, son. Happy, happy birthday. Hey, Carter, I'd just like to wish you a happy birthday. Woot, woot. What a fun day, am I right? Um, well, now I have to think of something nice to say to you, and I knew this was going to be the hard part. But, um, actually, on a real note, you're a pretty fun guy. You're fun to be around. Uh, anyone that knows you can tell that you really care about your family. And that's a very good quality to have. Um, I really appreciate you for taking us to those haunted houses because it was actually a very fun and memorable experience, experience, and it really shows what a funkle you are, as my, as my mom says, I don't, I didn't really know what that meant at first, I thought it was some kind of infection, but, uh, anyways, you're cool guy and I wanted to commemorate you for that so I drew you I drew you a picture and it took me took me a couple days but I finally finished it today and uh, it looks really realistic uh, and I'll just show you now all right so so this is this is you if you can't tell but I got that picture from you running 
and uh, you're making a really horrible face, and I changed it into something better, something something very much happier, and uh, I hope you really like it, because it, this really describes you as a person, and um, yeah, thank you for being the cool uncle that you are, and happy birthday, I love you. Hey Chumako, I heard it's your 30th birthday. I hope this one treats you just as good as the rest. But, you know, I wanted to say, dude, like, I just thank you so much for being an older brother to me and showing me the ropes. And, dude, you taught me so much. And I don't think I could ever repay you for that. You know, I think you're probably one of the best journeyman linemen. Actually, I know you're one of the best journeyman linemen I've ever had. And, dude, you fucking, you've changed my attitude. You've changed my work ethic. Which my work ethic was good before, so let's. But you've just you've changed so much about me and how I look at things and how I look at my life and like just how I prepare for things. And you know I appreciate you so much. And again, I don't think I can ever repay you for that. But happy happy thirtieth birthday, brother! I hope it treats you good. Party hard for me, dude. Good job, Carter. Happy birthday! Made it to another one. Don't fall off a pole or anything. Proud of you. Doing a good job. We'll see you pretty soon. Happy birthday, Farter. I can't believe that you're turning 30 years old. I honestly thought that you were turning like 50, 51, 55. Like, I thought you were somewhere in that age range, but I was just a little off. You're a lot younger than you look, girl. No, I'm just kidding. Um, happy birthday. Uh, one thing that I really love about you is how we're always having fun when you're around. It's always a good time. Like when you took us zip lining and um, Flagstaff, I think it was. And then when you took me to that haunted house, like that was just really fun. I appreciate you doing that type of stuff for me and Riley and everyone. Um, yeah, I love you. And I forgot, I wanted to say that my favorite memory of you is when you got scared of that giant alligator that popped out at us while we were at the haunted house. I think it was an alligator or like a dinosaur or something, but it was hilarious seeing you get freaked out like that. So those, yeah, good times. Carter, today we celebrate you. 30 years of awesome. And as a special gift, I give you a poem that I wrote special for you. And it's titled, O Carter, Dear Brother. O Carter, dear brother, can I just say how proud I am of you? Hard work and success, you've accomplished so much, regardless of what you've been through. O Carter, dear brother, can I just say we appreciate all you do. Garage motors, TV mounts, and curtain rods. I don't know what we would do without you. Oh, Carter, dear brother, can I just say thank you for building our shed? Because if me and Philip had to do it alone, he probably would be dead <laughs> or we'd be divorced. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Carter, dear brother, on this day, we celebrate the man that you are. You give, you love, you make us laugh. A great brother, the best funkle by far. Happy 30th birthday, Carter. We love you so much. We appreciate everything that you do more than you know. Love you. Happy birthday. Mwah. Carter cool. Carter kind of cool. How you doing, brother? Here in Montana, visiting my mom with Alyssa. Um, it's beautiful out here, man. There sure is a lot of nature out. Speaking of nature, did you know the bear got its name from a football team in Chicago? That's pretty neat. Oh, man. Also, 80% of the world's monkey population is made up of all monkeys. <laughs> How neat is that? <laughs> Anyways, brother, just wanted to say happy birthday. Wanted to give you a cheers. Hey. Happy birthday, Carter. You suck, Zalak.
Happy very, your 30th birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. What's your favorite memory with Dad? Last time we got Frodo, that was the best memory ever. What is your favorite thing about Dad? That he's sweet, he's nice, he's, he loves me. Mm, that's all I can think of right now. Okay. Um, what's Dad's favorite thing to do? Play with us. And do you think he's going to like having cake at his party? Yeah. Do you think he's going to be surprised? Yeah. Who do you think is his favorite, you or Bella? No one. No one? He loves us the same amount. The same amount? Mm -hmm. Do you want him to have a good birthday? Yeah. Do you think 30 is old? No. No? Uh -uh. Not old. Not old. All right, then tell Dad you're not old. Have you're a great birthday. Mm, love you, bye. Happy 30th birthday, Dad. One of my favorite memories that we had together is when all of our family dressed up, dressed up as the Incredibles for Halloween in our old Arizona house. I know that you're turning 30 and you're not expecting a party that you're about to have. You went skydiving. You went skydiving yesterday with your friend Justin, and then you went out to eat. So today is going to going to be a super special party since you're leaving for Wichita, and it's going to be your 30th birthday because we went to Colorado, Great Wolf Lodge for Mom's 30th birthday. So we're trying to make yours super special. I love you, Dad. Bye. I am grateful to have you as my dad, and I love the way that you are always so kind and nice to all of your friends and family. I really hope that your 30th birthday is special because this it's a big deal. It's also really hard to do since Dudo's birthday is right around the corner. With you leaving to Wichita, we didn't have much time to plan this party. And we don't really know if you're leaving yet. So this party could be amazing time, but you don't leave for Wichita. So I love you. Bye. Hey, Carter. This is Taylor. Heard Brianna was putting together a little video looking for some crazy or stupid things we might have done uh we've done so many stupid things i don't even know where to start bro you know i love you happy birthday y'all take care later hi yeah <laughs> take me out to car's birthday because he's a great brother-in-law He's generous, kind, and he's super fun. But most of all, he likes to swim, bike, and run. And he's always gonna be really smart. But he also likes energy drinks because he's cool, and he's awesome, and he's fun, and he's great, and he's a great brother-in-law. Some say Carter, he is a giver. That meets his family's needs. Some say Carter, he is a foreman. And all he 
does. He sure succeeds. Some say cut eyes are creepy and go. Then wears his pants too tight. I say cut eyes. He is a brother. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>